Okay guys, I've built some uh, new ebb and flow beds lately and some new wicking beds. And even though I have worms in the system, um, I like to kind of give an infusion to my new beds. I mean, they'll get here eventually. But I wanted to show you something because this, a lot of people really freak out when they see this. So you throw these worms right up on top of this lava rock. And you'd think if you threw worms on top of lava rock, that would just be the end of your worms. Like, worms live in dirt. They don't live in rock. But I want you to watch this. I'm shooting this in 4K, so I'm hoping it only takes, like, let's say two minutes or less, because it's going to be a huge video. But you'll be shocked at how fast they disappear. Right down into the lava rock. And it just seems to me like, you know, feeling this stuff, it's, it's so hard and abrasive that you just think it would be, like, tearing them apart, but... They just go right down and they'll live in there. And they'll multiply in there based on how much they have to eat. And they'll maintain their population based on how much you feed them. And they'll do all kinds of good things for your ecosystem. And if you feel they need a little more feed, you can just take some chicken feed, or in my case, duck feed, and throw it up here on the rocks. And they'll come up at night and they'll eat it and they'll digest it. And they'll contribute to your system just like the fish will. In fact, in the colder months when you... Uh, aren't getting enough activity out of your fish for nutrient, you feed your worms instead of your fish. They're almost gone now. There's very few of them left. There's one guy here, he seems to be on the short bus or something, but uh, everybody else cruising right on down. There's, uh, I don't know, I'll probably put a couple hundred up there and there's a dozen left. Again, I'm shooting this in 4K, so, uh, I'll call it here, but I'll show you real quick at the end where they're going. This is a uh, another ebb and flow bed. This one's at the front of my system. And you can see I mounted this one horizontally. I actually like that a lot better. That end down at the other end where you've seen previous uh, ebb and flows go in, um, I was that end's not really fully shaded, so I was trying to keep the water shaded down there. This will work half as a raft and half as an ebb and flow and plus be a fish tank for me. Hey fishes, say hello. Let's just check real quick. I see about three left and they're working their way in. I just thought y'all would like to see that. Catch up with you later.